We're getting closer and closer to the release of Modern Warfare 2 as the days go by, and with the beta just releasing, I kind of want to speculate on the camos, their challenges, and give you guys my opinion on the beta overall. And I'm going to try to go over that while I'm playing. So if you guys haven't seen, here in the beta, they don't show any of the camo challenges or the camos, so we're kind of in the dark on that, but, but we can still speculate on what we think they might be. Ooh, get out of here. So if you guys haven't seen by now, there is mounting in the beta, which means we're probably going to have a mounting camo challenge. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with it because it kind of eliminates uh, any kind of camo challenge or at least one specific category of camo challenge that we need to worry about. That was a person the whole time. I was kind of staring at him. And, you know, after playing Cold War... Uh, I'd much rather do mounted kills over kills behind cover. Because with kills behind cover, you're kind of dependent on what someone else is doing. You don't really, or you're not really in control. You can't control on how you get the camos or when. You just kind of got to get lucky and have somebody stand behind something and shoot them. So yeah, they're kind of annoying, but at least, you know, we can control how many we get. Because I can walk around any corner and just mount up like that. You just got to aim down and mount. And then also there's field upgrades in this game, like the deployable cover that you can throw down and get some mounted kills. I'm not too worried about that. The thing I'm concerned about is that whenever COD implements a new mechanic, they try to get players to use it by making it a camo challenge. Like they try to, you know, introduce players to it by making them use it to get whatever camos they want for their weapon. Like we saw this with Modern Warfare 2019 and introducing mounted, but I've already gone over that and what I think about it. But this game has introduced a new perk system. As you saw right there on the bottom, I have like five perks and none of them are filled out right now because you need to unlock these perks by, you know, performing well. I think they work kind of like score streaks where you get more perks based on your score, you know, your the amount of kills you get, things like that, and you unlock them as you go through the game. So the better you're doing and the faster you're doing well, the faster you'll have all those perks. So I kind of have a feeling they're going to have a camo challenge where it's like get this many kills with all of your perks or with all your perks activated, something along those lines. And that doesn't seem too bad, but if you're not performing well or you're using something like a launcher, like I, I really hope they don't do that. But if you're using a weapon that you're not the greatest with, that's going to be a pretty frustrating camo to do. Another mechanic they've added to this game is they have sliding and they have dolphin diving. And as many of you may know, if you go on for melee camos, there's usually like a sliding kill implemented in there. Like if you're using a knife, it's gonna be like get X amount of kills while sliding. Now, I don't think they would do this, but I just wanna put this out there just in case I'm right. They might try to add some sort of camo for dolphin diving. I really hope they don't because I don't think you can shoot while dolphin diving at all, but it could be something like get X amount of kills after dolphin diving. Like it could be something like, you know, get this many kills while injured along those lines. But that could be a stretch. What I'm really anticipating there being is, you know, the obvious, the, the basic camo challenges, like get this many headshots, get this many long shots, get this many hip fire kills, maybe crouching kills. But there still leaves a few camos there where like, I don't know what they're going to do. So I'm just praying that they, they keep it light. Another thing that I want to put out there is that there is only two launchers in this game as of right now. I know it's only the beta and they don't usually put every weapon in the beta. You know, they kind of just want to tease you, put out a little bit of the weapons and then give you the rest when the full game comes out or maybe you release more as the beta goes on. But I'm assuming that there's going to be a few more launchers than that, at least two more. Because we got the Joker and the Pila, which were launchers that were available in Modern Warfare 2019. I have a feeling that they're going to bring back the like Strella P and the RPG as well. I don't think they just have like two lock-on launchers and that's it. I feel like the RPG always has to be there just to make the camo challenges like a little more difficult to grind. So I just want you guys to be prepared for that. And also, uh, I want to put it out there as a quick PSA for any of you that are going to go for these mastery camos is go for your launchers early. I think Modern Warfare 2 is going to have some sort of... Oh, geez. That stun thing is ridiculous. Just made me shoot everywhere pause but i'm pretty sure it's gonna have a mode like ground war and if i remember correctly in modern for 2019 in ground war that was the way to get your launcher camo super fast like there's gonna be people driving vehicles around you can get your kills and vehicle eliminations all at the same time there's gonna be plenty of score streaks flying around like that is the time to get your launcher camos but i say do it early because you know, as the game in its life cycle progresses, less and less people tend to play those types of modes. Like, just look at Cold War and Combined Arms. Like, that was the way to get your launcher camos when Cold War came out. And now, I don't even think it's a mode. And before that, you could hardly even find a game for it. There's like 15 people worldwide playing that mode. So you can't say I didn't warn you if you, you don't go for those 
ground war challenges or go for your launchers in ground war. Another camo challenge I can kind of see them doing, but I don't know exactly how it'd be implemented is something to do with the weapon customization. Like if you guys have been keeping up, uh, there's all kinds of like weapon tuning, different kinds of attachments you can do. You can make a weapon look uh, completely different from somebody else using the same weapon. Like there's so much individuality coming with it. I feel like they're going to add something like get X amount of kills while your weapon is like tuned this amount or gets X amount of kills while your weapon's built a certain way. Now, I don't think they do the whole like get this amount of kills with this amount of attachments or these specific attachments again, because I know that frustrated a lot of players, including myself for Vanguard. But I think they might do something similar in but make it not as uh you know micromanagey like you need to use all these at least i hope so but something that i've noticed in the beta this could change in the main game but they've improved on this from vanguard is the weapon levels now i'm pretty sure the weapon levels in here are like capped at like 20 or something but per weapon level i was unlocking like multiple attachments i was getting in between like two to three to even like up to five attachments for a single weapon just leveling it up once. And I don't think they're going to have as many weapon levels in this as they did in Vanguard. Vanguard had 70. I think in this game, it might be 50. Uh, in the beta, it's 20. I don't know if they're going to raise it or lower it or if the rates are a little bit higher because this is the beta and they just want people to, you know, have fun and mess around with the game. But that is a huge quality of life upgrade in this. Like spending an entire day grinding up a weapon just so you can try to get camos on it is ridiculous. And, you know, kind of that same note... I hope they, they do the same thing that Vanguard did with their launchers and their melee weapons where you don't need to level them up to get camos for them. Because it is kind of ridiculous to have to get a knife, like for example, up to level 30 when there's no attachments and you're not unlocking anything for it. But they did tease us because when you go to the gunsmith in this and you go to customize, they have camo here, but it's completely locked. You can't even open it and look. I, I just really want to see what the mastery camos look like. Because my main concern with this game, and this might sound dumb, is I just want the camos to look cool, you know? I don't want to have a game that we have for two years and that we can grind for however long. Have a camo on here that just sucks. If the mastery camo is bad, that's going to take all the, the wind out of my sails and just... I don't know, just demotivate me to play. I'm still going to have a lot of fun playing this. I'm excited for Search and Destroy. I'm excited for the DMZ mode. I'm excited for Warzone 2. But if the mastery camo is bad, it's like, oh, it'll be such a fumble. Now, what I'm looking for in a mastery camo, I really like how Damascus looks. And I really like how Atomic looks uh, in terms of like active like camo, something that moves around or just something that's like static. I don't care either way as long as it looks nice. But I have a suspicion that they're not going to stick with like the Damascus atomic looking weapon because they've done it to, like two games, like almost in a row where like atomic is basically just like yellow Damascus that moves. I think they they're a little bit scared of trying to get caught in the box doing the same mastery camo over and over again. So I think they might try to do something a little like out of the box or at least out of the, the box they've been in. But I do hope they bring something like Obsidian back to this game. I just want it to look good though. Like Obsidian is such a cool idea. Like get like whatever amount of kills with this gun and then you get a camo for it. Like there's not really a challenge involved. It's just use this weapon more. But I want Obsidian to be unlockable after you get the mastery camo. I want there to be a grind after the mastery camo. Because if Obsidian was in the game like day one, while you're grinding Damascus, you're going to have Obsidian before you get Damascus for a weapon or be pretty dang close to it by the time you get that weapon like gold. So there really wasn't much of a grind after you, you know, you got gold on that weapon. And with two years of, of this game's life cycle coming, I want more stuff to do. So throw in as many grindables as you can. That includes like optics. That includes reticles. Maybe even like different looking attachments would be cool if you could grind and get like a barrel that does the same exact thing as like say a task force barrel in cold war but it just looks cooler or it's reactive or something or even like calling cards emblems i want just a whole bunch of grindables and i really hope this game can deliver that and that's all i can really think of in terms of like camo challenges and you know my speculation about them but let me know what you guys think the camo challenges are going to be what you think the camo is going to look like you know what you're looking for in that department but overall my opinion of the beta it's been pretty fun. I've been having a good time with it. You know, there is only four maps out of the four. I think I only really like the two, which is this map and the map I played on in the first game. The other maps are fine, but I think they are like too large for 6v6. It just takes too long to find people. 
it just seems like a chore to play on those types of maps but they do look very good but so far the gameplay for this has felt pretty fun i'm not gonna lie it feels like a lot like Modern Warfare 2019 which i i feel like it should if it's using like the same engine but it has removed slide canceling although i have seen uh you know clips and stuff floating around on twitter of people that figured out how to do it again I'm sure that'll get patched, but it feels smooth. The gunplay is nice. Uh, I used a sniper for a little bit. Uh, I'm not like crazy at sniping or anything, and I am playing on controller. I'm usually on keyboard and mouse, and it felt pretty fluid. Like I felt like I could actually get stuff done. The only real thing I can see people having an issue with is the time to kill. Like this game's very fast paced, and the time to kill is also extremely fast to like complement that. But, you know, for me, I mainly just play like hardcore anyway, so time to kill doesn't matter too much. Honestly, the core in this kind of feels like hardcore a little bit, maybe just with a little more health. But I can see people getting frustrated at like trying to fight more than one person or like just running into more than one person and just dying. But I think that's more of a, a skill issue than a, a game issue, I'm not gonna lie. And that's coming from somebody who's like absolute ass. Like I wish I could show my KD for their like the whole beta so far there might be a way how to but i know for sure it's negative one thing that i don't like about it though is that it feels like the mini map's kind of worthless if you don't have like a uav going like there's not really a point of it to be there i guess sometimes when people shoot they show up on it i guess i don't know it doesn't feel like the classic mini map i feel like i need to have a perk to make the mini map work because i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm kind of a a, a, a mini map slut like i will stare at the mini map I, I will see where everyone's at. I feel like it's a, more of a skill to read a mini map than it is to just crank your volume up and listen for footsteps. But I will say footsteps in this game are extremely loud. I can see going for like finishing moves and stuff for melee weapons for like camo challenges being extremely frustrating. Those are definitely going to need to have like ninja or like use dead silence. Like it's going to be tough to sneak up behind somebody. What? When he killed me, did I go right into the ceiling? All I saw was just my feet hanging. But I did stream my first few games on this. Uh, my internet did go out like immediately on my first game, which is kind of frustrating. But I went back up, streamed again, and I got a lot of questions of people asking like, hey, what's your opinion on this? Should I pre-order this? Like, is this game good? Honestly, I feel like it's too early to tell because I really enjoyed the Cold War beta. Like I enjoyed sniping it and everything. And then you get the game and the snipe is completely different, but I still enjoyed Cold War. I liked the Vanguard beta. I had fun playing that, but I didn't like Vanguard the game. Now I'm enjoying my time on this beta here. I don't know if it's like the new game smell is what I've been calling it, like new car smell. Like you're, you're blinded by just something that's brand new, like new game bias. But with the question, should I pre-order this game? Should I buy it? I would say no, not because I don't like it. Not because I think it's going to be a bad game, but I feel like after Vanguard, I got a lot of trust issues and I can't in good faith, like recommend a game that isn't even really out yet. Like, yeah, this is going to be pretty similar to how the final game is going to be, but you know, there's going to be open beta coming pretty soon. I think if you're skeptical about it, I would hold off on pre-ordering it. Maybe like watch some streams and stuff. It's easy to get FOMO during these types of things where it's like, oh, you can play the beta, but you have to pre-order it. So like if people might be kind of pressured into getting it, I just say, Wait until the open beta is out. Give the game a try for yourself and see if you like it. Because I really liked Modern Warfare 2019 despite it not really having too many maps. Not a whole lot to do after like the Damascus grind besides play like Search and Destroy. And I know a lot of people don't like the same things in games that I like. So I know it's kind of like a cop-out answer, but just wait for the open beta if you're skeptical. Try it for yourself and see if you like it. You know, outside of camos and everything, what are you guys looking for in this game? What do you want to see? Do you want to see any certain type of game modes? I'm personally looking for more party game modes, kind of like what Cold War had with like one in the chamber, prop hunt, like gun game or or the 3v3 face off even or the 6v6 face off on those small maps. Like those are really fun for grinding camos and just to play. But I'm curious to see what you guys are looking for because I, I just mainly grind camos. That's the, the main concern here. I want to know what more of the community thinks should be added into this game. What shouldn't be here? You know, what, what will really sell you on this game? But if you are playing the beta, uh, I'm going to go ahead and recommend this gun. Uh, what's the name of it? The Hurricane. I've been using this gun a lot. I've been doing pretty decent with it. It's like a AR with a P90 mag on it. It's very fast firing. It has a very high damage output. Its range isn't bad. It's a lot of fun to use, but I've had enough of this weapon. I want to try to snipe a little bit. You guys are about to see either me pop off or me get shit on. Somebody peek me. Okay, they peeked me. All right, now peek me. Okay, uh, give me one more try. Uh, maybe two more. Nope, stop jumping over my shots. 
All right, you win. Psych. Get domed. Anyone else want some? Didn't think so. Oh, he did. Oh, he does too, but I don't got enough for him. Sorry, all sold out. I think we were winning this game and I switched to the sniper and now we're losing. I'm actively throwing. What? There we go. Also, from what I've seen on this map, people love to sit at this wall and it's fucking annoying. Oh, and we lost. But that's all the speculation I got in my opinion of the beta. Let me know what you guys think about the camos, what your predictions are, what you want to see in the game, you know, all that good stuff. Also, be on the lookout for some streams. I'm going to play it a little bit more throughout this weekend and definitely during the open beta so I can play it on my computer on keyboard and mouse as well. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here, please consider subscribing put all kinds of COD content throughout the week. If you want to follow me outside of YouTube, links to my Instagram and Twitter in the description below, as well as a link to my Discord if you want to go ahead and join that. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.